Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are asked to solve for x in this particular equation. Okay, first, um, the question says 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 36. All right, we can express this in base 2, right? As um, 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x plus this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 36. Okay, now according to the law of indices, we um, the law states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay, is equal to a to the power of mn, that is m times n. Having said that, we can express this as what? 2 to the power of what? x raised to the power of 2. Since 2 times x is same thing as x times 2, that means their position can be exchanged. All right, plus the same thing here. 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to what? 36. Okay, we have 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x in common here. So let's... 2 to the power of x equals a, all right? So we can say a squared plus a to the power of 3 is equal to 36. Now, if you look very well, notice that you are forming a polynomial that is a cubic polynomial, a, polyno a polynomial with the degree of 3. Now, how do we solve it? Let's write this very well. Let's rearrange it very well. So let's rearrange it as what? A to the power of 3 plus A squared. Then let's bring this 36 in. Since it is plus 36, if we cross this equation, it becomes minus 36, okay? So we have minus 36 is equal to 0. Okay, so um, this is a cubic polynomial. And that's what I normally tell my students that when you have a cubic polynomial, then there are several ways you can solve it. I have a detailed tutorial on that in this channel. But looking at this, the fastest way is if I should just as um if I should assign a number to a, all right, by trial and error, let's find a number that when we substitute it for a, we are going to get this side of the equation to be equal to what zero as well now by trial and error i notice that three will fit in that is if we say let a equal to three okay if we should check if we put three as a here we have three to the power of three plus three squared minus 36 is equal to zero let's see if this is true now three to the power of three is what 27 plus three squared is what nine Minus 36 is equal to 0. Now 27 plus 9 is what? 36. And 36 minus 36 will give us 0. So it means that A is equal to 3 satisfies this particular equation. Now if we say let A equals 3. If A is equal to 3. That means that A minus 3 is equal to 0, right? Yes. Because if you bring this in as minus 3, it becomes equal to 0. So this a minus 3 is now a factor of this polynomial. Now, what are we going to do? Because we need uh, another factor of this polynomial, which is going to be a quadratic equation. We need to, that is, one is going to be a linear equation. The other is going to be a quadratic. So to get the quadratic, we are going to use a minus 3 on a long division to divide this. There are so many ways you can use to do this. You can actually, there are so many methods you can apply to still get your factors of this, but this is the one I personally use. So let's use long division to get the second quadratic equation, okay? So if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, trust me, you are going to enjoy this ride, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. No, just do it now so that you don't forget. Subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video because trust me, you'll be glad to see this face every minute of the day, okay? All right, so pay attention and see how I'm going to use long division method to get the other factor of this polynomial. So this is A 
minus 3. We are going to use it to divide what? a to the power of 3 plus a squared. Now, notice that we don't have a to the power of 1 here, right? So we are still going to put that. That means we are going to write plus a to the power of 1, 0, a to the power of 1, since it's not there. It means that it's 0, okay? 0, a to the power of 1 minus what? 36. Okay, now let me stay here. So we are going to use long division to get the quadratic equation. So let's go. So this is what you are going to use. This a is what you will always use. So a to the power of 3 divided by a we give you a squared, right? So you write your a squared. Now, a squared times a will give us a to the power of 3. a squared times minus 3 will give you minus 3a squared. Then you subtract, okay? Now, a to the power of 3 minus a to the power of 3 will give us 0. Now, a squared minus minus 3a squared, the same thing as a squared plus 3a squared, which will give us 4a squared. So we have 4a squared here. So we are going to bring down our 0a to the power of 1 or 0a or 0. Then we are also going to bring down minus 36. Okay. So we are still going to use this a again to divide this. All right. So 4a squared divided by a will give us what? 4a, right? So we have plus 4a. Now... 4a times a will give us 4a squared. And 4a times minus 3 will give us minus 12a. Then we subtract, okay? Now, if we subtract, we have this minus this is 0. Now, 0 minus minus 12a, same thing as 0 plus 12, which will still give us 12a. Then we are going to bring down minus 36, okay? Then we go again. So we are going to continue to divide this until we get zero, which we add it already. This should be the final stage, all right? Once we get zero, that means we are done. We have, by then we must have gotten the quadratic equation that we are looking for. All right, now A, 12A divided by A. Remember that this A has been the one you've been using all this while. So 12A divided by A will give you 12, right? So we have plus 12. Now 12 times A will give us 12A. And 12 times minus 3 will give us minus 36. So notice that we have the same thing here. That means this is 0. Okay? Now we are done. Being that we are done, that means that the polynomial, this particular polynomial now, a to the power of 3 plus 8 squared minus 36 equal to 0, can be expressed as a minus 3 multiplied by a squared plus 4a plus 12. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that. So we can write that a minus 3, a minus 3, sorry, a to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So we can replace this now with what? a minus 3, which is this times this into a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0, okay? All right. Now, from here, we can say that a minus 3 is equal to 0, right? So we have a minus 3 is equal to 0. And we can also say that a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0. All right. Now, solving this side of the equation... We will have that our a is equal to minus 3 we cross to become 3. Now, this is a solution. But remember, we are not looking for a. We are actually looking for what? We are looking for x. But this a is going to take us to x. Now, before we solve this, let's check the discriminant to see if we can even get a real solution or a real root. Now, the discriminant is what? b squared minus 4 ac all right now our b is what the coefficient of a now the coefficient of a is four that means our b is four so four squared minus four times our a is what one that is the coefficient of a squared which is one and our c is our constant and our constant is 12 okay times 12 now we are going to have four squared is 16 minus 
4 times 12 will give us 48. Now, when we solve this, we are going to get a negative solution. That means we don't have a real root here. We are not going to make use of this, okay? So, we are going to only make use of A is equal to 3. Because that is the only real solution or the real root we have here. All right. Now, recall that we said, let A, let 2 to the power of X, let me show you. 2 to the power of x equals a, okay? Let's 2 to the power of s equals a. That means we are, we are going to, 2 to the power of x is equal to a. So we are going to substitute 2 to the power of x for a here. So we write 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now, what do we do next? The only option we have here is to take log of both sides, right? So if we take log of both sides, we have that log. 2 to the power of x is equal to what? Log 3. Is equal to log 3. Now, using the power rule, the x will come down to multiply the log 2, right? According to the power rule, that log a to the power of b is equal to b We come down to multiply log a, okay? So, we are going to apply that here now. And when we do that, we will have x log 2 is equal to log what? 3. All right. Now, permit me to clean this side of the board. I think we don't need anything from here again. We don't need anything from here again. All right. So, this is what we have. That x log 2 is equal to log 3. Now, let's divide both sides by log 2. So, divided by log 2, divided by log 2. So, we have that our x is equal to, because this, we divide this, and we have nothing remaining. We have 1, sorry. So, 1 times x is x is equal to log 3 over log 2. All right, this is equal to, now, note, we are still going to check for our solution. We are going to check if the solution is right. But before that, let's just get the final answer. So this implies that recall that log A, B over log A, C. That is log to base A of B over log to base A of C. Once they have the same base, it's the same thing as log what? B base C. So if we should apply this here. That means that we can write our solution as what? Log what? Base 2 of 3. Okay, so this is the value of our x. And if you press this in your calculator, log to base 2 of 3 will give you 1.58. Now, let's substitute this into approximately, okay? Now, let's substitute this into this particular equation. And when we do that, let's check. Let's check. So we have 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 36. Now this is what? 4 to the power of 1.58 plus 8 to the power of 1.58 is equal to 36. Now when you solve this, you are going to have 3564 approximately. And when you... When you approximate this, you are going to get what? 36. So this shows that the solution that we got is right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you so much.